You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, NBC Peacock soap opera fans. This is Soap Dirt on YouTube. We've got something to talk to you about today, and that is the new romantic interest for Harris Michaels, since Steve Burton is sticking around. And this is the idea we want to entertain with you today. We want to know what you think about this. What if they pair Harris Michaels with Sammy Brady? We're going to talk about that. If you haven't already, reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our days of our lives. Spoilers, casting news, and all the info you need about your favorite NBC soap opera. Let's dig into this. Right now, of course, Sammy Brady is not on the scene on days. And that's fine. She she comes and she'll do these like arcs of several episodes and then she'll go away. Sometimes she stays longer. It just depends on her shooting schedule because they have her so busy shooting stuff for the Hallmark Channel and things like that. She's got the whole Murder She Baked series, all that good stuff. And of course, we love to see her doing that, but we also love it when Allison Sweeney is back on days. And when she comes back, here's what she's got to look forward to. Let's dig into that. Lucas Horton is still in prison, and even if he wasn't, it doesn't seem like she would renew her romance with him. Why? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's because Lucas had her kidnapped and framed EJ for it, thus finishing off EJ and Sammy's marriage, which was already rocky. And Lucas was about to marry Sammy, and it all came out at the wedding. So it's a mess, and it doesn't seem likely that when Sammy is back, even if Lucas is out of Statesville by then, it doesn't look like that she would rekindle with him. So what about EJ? Because EJ kept trying to tell her, I didn't have you kidnapped, I love you, this and that, and then everything fell apart, and then he actually fooled around with her sister Belle, which infuriated Sammy, and then, you know, he went to jail for her kidnapping. Lucas had thoroughly set him up and he's out now. But the thing is, he has moved on with Nicole Walker. And you might be thinking, yeah, but Nicole just had sex with Eric and she might be pregnant with Eric's baby. That is true. However, there was a script that leaked. It was uh, during an Instagram story from Jessica Cervati, the actress who plays Sloane Peterson. And the little snippet of the script that you can see that's supposed to be airing in like November or December is them talking about the baby. Like he's gone to check on the baby and she's like, is the baby okay? And he says, yes. Well, clearly it's not going to be her baby because she's not showing any signs of being pregnant and they're shooting these scenes now. Instead, What I speculate is that the baby they're referring to is Nicole's baby. Now, we did wonder in a recent Days of Our Lives video, you can click on the Days playlist to see it, whether they might revisit the Sammy plot and have Nicole turn up pregnant with twins, each with a different dad, one by EJ, one by Eric, because Days does like to repeat plots. But either way, it definitely looks like that Eric and Nicole have a baby and that the baby is special spending time with him and Sloan, who are still together towards the end of the year. So what that means likely is that Nicole is still with EJ, and therefore, if Sammy Brady comes back, then EJ is not going to be dating her because he is still with Nicole. So Sammy Brady will be at loose ends, and then we've got Harris Michaels. He's not in Salem yet, but he's coming to Salem right now. He is still in Greece. He was helping out with the search for everybody, and now he's helping in the search for Kate. And of course, she's with this guy, Dimitri von Lushner, who was also masquerading as an ISA agent in Days of Our Lives Beyond Salem. At any rate, eventually, though, Harris is going to come back to Salem. Steve Burton inked a one-year deal with Days of Our Lives. He is sticking around. He is serious eye candy. There is no way that Ron Carlovati hired Steve Burton to come play Harris without the idea in mind that he was going to write him a love interest and that we're going to get to see all the uh, all the positive results of Steve using his own Burton fitness process. <laughs> They've had him in tank tops pretty much all the time, but once they get him back in Salem, I'm anticipating they're going to pair him with someone and they're going to give us love scenes because you know how Days of Our Lives loves to show off the male eye candy on this show. So with that in mind, 
Harris and Sammy might be a fun pairing. They both have a past where they've done things that they know they shouldn't have done. Of course, Harris has the excuse that he was brainwashed into what he did by Megan Hathaway. Sammy doesn't really have that excuse unless she tries to say she brainwashed herself into doing some of the bad and sketchy things she's done. But they are both people that are moving on from their mistakes. They're both physically attractive. They're age appropriate. Allison Sweeney is 46. Steve Burton is 52. So they are age appropriate for a soap romance as actors. I would be willing to bet that these two probably know each other because they've both been working in soaps for so long. So they probably already have, you know, some friendly chemistry. That could be a lot of fun. However, there is this other rumor, and that is that Days of Our Lives approached the original Eve Donovan actress to see if she wanted to reprise the role Charlotte Ross, Charlotte Russ, her. And she had posted a photo on her Instagram teasing about it and said that she had been in talks with them. So maybe they're going to bring back the original Eve Donovan. The last time we saw Eve Donovan, she was played by Cassie DePaiva, and she had kidnapped Ben Weston and was tormenting him to try and turn him back into the necktie killer so that she could have him kill his wife, Sierra, or I guess his fiance, because she blew up their wedding to steal him right before they got married. They're married now. And she has been sent off to prison. So that's problematic because Harris is trying to be a better person and get his life together. So I feel like them bringing back his old girlfriend from way back when, when he was on the show in the late eighties, um, bringing back Eve Donovan is problematic unless, unless they do this redemption thing, because you do have to understand Eve's raison d'etre. You know why she was doing what she was doing. Ben did murder her daughter. Now, granted, he was mentally ill. He wasn't in his right mind, but still to her, Ben killed her daughter. And so she wanted him to feel that pain. So she's not a nice woman. I mean, let's not make it that way. She's not, but What she did to Ben, you could see how a grieving mother would do that. And so maybe the parole board would take mercy on her because she didn't kill him. She just tortured him. And back to that, they had Rob Scott Wilson in his his Haynes boxer briefs for like a full week while she tormented him. And I know the female fans appreciated that. Some of the male ones probably did too. (laughs) So the big question is, with Harris Michaels on his way back to Salem, is there any chance that Sammy Brady might drop in with him for some romance? This is just speculation. This is not any kind of official spoiler. It's just been a minute since Sammy has been on the show. I know a lot of people miss her because Hurricane Sammy is a whole lot of fun. And she might be exactly the kind of fun person that very serious Harris needs to lighten him up. What do you think? If you haven't already, reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our days of our lives, spoilers, news, and everything you need to know about your favorite soap. And then let us know down in the comments, would you like to see Harris romancing Sammy? Would you like to see Harris with Eve? If you would like to see Harris with somebody else, who would you like to see it with? Bearing in mind that he is staying for a year and you never know at the end of that year, they may renew his contract. So he could be on the show for quite a while and that means he needs a romantic partner who should it be thank you for being a loyal listener follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode soap dirt is on all the major podcast platforms including apple podcast spotify iHeartRadio, and more 